When people think about getting the Zika virus, they think about mosquitoes and tropical areas. But most people don't think about unprotected sex. The reality is that sexual transmission is the second most common way that Zika is spread. The Zika cases we have seen in Philadelphia were among travelers who were infected with the virus in areas of the world with Zika outbreak and later infected their partners through sex. If their partner is pregnant or becomes pregnant, the mother can spread Zika to her baby during pregnancy. Zika can cause a serious birth defect called microcephaly. Microcephaly involves incomplete brain development, resulting in an abnormally small head. What this means is that the baby may be severely disabled. They may never be able to walk or talk. This can be devastating. Pregnant women or women who are trying to conceive should do everything possible to prevent getting Zika. So we want to provide everybody with all the facts we have right now. Some people who are infected with Zika have symptoms, but most infected people do not. Symptoms include fever, joint pains, rash, and conjunctivitis. Some people call that red eye. Even if they do not have symptoms, people can be contagious for weeks or months and transmit the virus during this period. Women who are infected with the Zika virus should wait to get pregnant for at least eight weeks after the beginning of their symptoms. Men who are infected with the Zika virus should not get their partner pregnant for at least six months after the symptoms first started. Infected men who have a partner who is already pregnant should avoid having sex or use a condom. All men and women who may have been exposed to Zika virus should avoid having sex or use condoms with their partners for at least eight weeks after exposure. We advise women who are trying to conceive to postpone getting pregnant with condoms and contraception. IUDs and implants are examples of long-acting contraception that are reversible and work really well. Call your doctor right away if you are already pregnant or trying to conceive and are worried that you or your partner are traveling to or returning from an area where there is Zika.